everybody. Um, I wanted to get on here real quick and share something with everyone that was really inspiring to me. Um, just recently on Facebook, I had someone message me. It was something very inspiring and that I, I have to share. This is just too, too good. Um, we'll call her Margo for confidentiality purposes. Um, she says, hi, Megan. Margo here in Botswana. I have a two-month-old baby. I suspect he has Down syndrome, but most people seem to think I'm crazy. Here, unlike in the USA, we do not have prenatal screening in public hospitals, so most people get post-delivery diagnosis. Now I'm scared. I'm scared to know if at all he has it. The doctor I went to said he could hear a heart murmur, but said it was common in newborns. I just need words to lift me up. What if he indeed has Down syndrome? Is the journey easy? Will I cope? I, I found this to be a perfect opportunity to tell someone what it is and don't be scared. So I responded and said, Dear Margo, first off, I want to congratulate you on your newest addition to your family. Every child is a blessing and every life deserves to be celebrated. In the USA, we do have the option for prenatal screening. However, screenings aren't always accurate. I had the prenatal screening, screening done when I was pregnant with Carter and the tests were negative. After Carter was born, we received his Down syndrome diagnosis. When my mother was pregnant with me, she had the same screening test done and it came back positive. I do not have Down syndrome, but the test told her otherwise. You see, these tests aren't 100%. Um, after we received Carter's diagnosis, those tests were no longer important to me. I don't have any control over my son's diagnosis, but I have control over my own actions as his mother. That's my 100% guarantee. I vow to do everything in my power as Carter's parent to make sure he lives up to his fullest potential, not just as a person with Down syndrome, but as an individual. I don't know what your religious preference is, but I am a Christian and I believe God doesn't make mistakes. And I believe Carter was designed to fit perfectly into my little family. And I believe your baby was too. I will never lie to you or anyone else and paint a pretty picture about raising a child with Down syndrome. It isn't easy. We have challenges. We have meltdowns. We struggle, but we're real. We overcome, we love fearlessly, we work hard, and we never give up because we have goals. We have this beautiful little life that deserves the world. We'll never stop advocating and we'll never stop fighting for our little ones. You, Margo, have hit the jackpot. Your baby boy will love you and give you a love like no one else. It's unconditional and there's nothing on this earth like it. Will you cope? Absolutely. Never doubt for one moment that you won't be the best mother you can possibly be. I don't know you, but I want to encourage you. I want you to be excited for this journey you've just embarked on because I'm excited for you. You and your baby deserve the best. Never forget that. God bless you, Megan Deese. Uh, the conversation went on from there, and uh, <clears throat> I um, found out that it's actually a big stigma over in Botswana uh, having Down syndrome is, and um, Botswana is actually in South Africa. I, it just really blew my mind, and um, it's just all the encouragement and all the motivation that I need to keep doing what I'm doing. And, um, you know, that's the whole reason why I started Down Syndrome Diaries is um, because everything that I was posting on Facebook about Carter was getting a lot of attention, but I just felt, I felt like I was pouring my heart out in a lot of that, like into a diary. And whenever I started Down Syndrome Diaries and came up with that name, that's why I chose that name is because this is a diary 
and the reason why I decided to start YouTube and to start putting videos out there is because it's one thing to read something, but it's a whole different thing when I'm looking at you and I'm I'm expressing everything that I put in that message, all the emotion behind it. I just sometimes I just wish that I could just talk to people in person and, and say this stuff to them and hug them and tell them it's gonna be okay because it is. It is. You're gonna be just fine and your baby's gonna be just fine. And that is up to you. That is your decision. I'm getting an applause from Carter right now. <laughs> but anyway, I just, this is why I do what I do. And this is why I advocate so hard for him because there are so many opportunities missed because people don't see the potential in an individual with Down syndrome. It, it just blows my mind and it's completely heartbreaking and I, I put Carter out there because I want people to see there's nothing wrong with him. And it's funny because I've had people ask me before, oh, what's wrong with your son? Nothing. He has Down syndrome. That's what makes him unique. So anyways, that's all I wanted to share. And um, I hope you all stay tuned. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.